What's up, everybody? I'm Dear Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. So today, today we're gonna continue on with some more Batman Telltale series. This is gonna be episode two. If you didn't see episode one, go ahead right now and go watch that because this shit is dope and it continues on in sequence. This is just released today, so we're gonna be doing our badass approach like we did last time. We're gonna answer the questions in the most appropriate, fun, exciting, you know, just badass way as we always do. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how this goes. I first, I haven't watched anything. I haven't seen anything. So just be, let's go through this together. All right, everybody, let's roll. Previously on Batman Telltale series, I'm glad they have this, so it gives you a little preview in case you didn't watch things last time. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. Our boy. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I think I'll be on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. No problem, I got together, you. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Gotham Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. My pops. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. My girl. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? Yeah, we didn't kill him last time. We let him live. We let him live. It's the Waynes. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. This game series adapts to choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. All right, let's see how it ends up then. Showtime now. My boy shook it up. I don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. Hmm. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. That's true. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. You hid this from me? It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years... What would you have me do? Uh, you were a child. So it's true. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept this you secret? You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Oh, shit. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. They were together? Working with Falcone. And Hill. I expected a regular accounting. Not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but 
This was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. I see. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. You got your my boy, bro. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Don't do it. You're my only partner. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. <laughs> I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, my father had enemies. Was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. Why is the volume so low with him? You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Is it time for a flash of the past? Alright, let's search the alleyway for clues now. Okay, what's, what's going on with this? Okay, guys, what's going on with the camera angles? I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibility is a frightening. I kill him. I wouldn't trust myself around him. That man doesn't kill. That's why I wouldn't trust myself. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Mm, okay. Let's look at this. The graffiti on the wall. Clues we have here. thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I wanted to be like I him. I always wanted to be brave. Just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. What about what's up here? The theater is where we're facing when he got shot. I love that movie. Saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. Wow. That's what happens when you have money. She was always so good to me. Oh, mama. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. In the gunfires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? I wouldn't want to know if I was him. I was going to go deeper. Is it going to recall some more information? Stay back! Take whatever you want! Nothing personal. Just business. Just business. You told me you had it coming. You, you don't have to do this. Don't fuck, Cody. This 
making a mistake. Oh shit, it was Falcone. I should have killed that damn bastard. Damn, he almost killed him Bruce, too. Are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Good that we kept that bastard alive. Never can go question him and find out what really happened. I'm here to see the boy, the fat man. Getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. It's a lot good. Don't, don't worry get about me it. wrong. I'm always here for you. Oh, that guy. This could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Don't worry about it. No one needs to know. Relax, Harv. No one needs to know. We'll be out of here in no time. Oh, relax, he says. <laughs> As if Bruce Wayne won't turn every head in the building. <laughs> I should have worn him the last time he disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. It's Look, personal. I'm all for blind support. This is a personal matter, Harvey. He's gonna be mad. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Thanks for having Ordinarily, us. Ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Yeah, we do what we can. And the rules whenever you need it. <laughs> I won't make it a habit, don't worry about it, brah. I realize this is Irregular, Lieutenant. I wouldn't ask if there was another way. I'm vouching for him, Gordon. Trust me, he's one of the good guys. A good guy who always gets what they want. Now, in my book, there's no such thing. <laughs> you got a point there. I just don't spoil people in my life. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say... You know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Hey, I appreciate it, girl. Thanks, Sergeant. We got business to attend to. I'll be back in a second Keeping for you. Keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. <laughs> We're lucky to have him. Whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. Moment of truth, guys. Here. Oh, shit. Episode two, baby. Let's roll. All right, you son of a bitch. Answer my questions quickly. Chills him, Rise and shine, hell, buddy. Bruce Wayne. Get straight to it. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Piss off the wrong guy. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. You should have seen me before I became boss. I'd show up all beat to hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. I heard. More than friends. More like cousins. I should kill you right now. I could avenge my father's death right now. And there's not a Damn thing you could do to stop me. <laughs> Avenge Tommy? Ah, 
So that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Watch your mouth. Watch it, Falcone. I still see some unbroken bones. <laughs> Tough guy, eh? <laughs> I bet you came to kick some answers out of me, eh? Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Uh, that's some hurt him instead. I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course. You'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? I need you alive, but only until I have answers. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far, did it? You got that Wayne seed. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He did, huh? He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still. Made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. So you took him out? Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friends. Oh shit. Your parents learned that. Oh shit! They're waiting for you in hell! Oh my god. The bastard had to die. <laughs> oh shit! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Oh, Go! shit! God damn, that bitch is crazy! Oh, man! She was hired to hit kill my bed. And we are in deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out sooner or later. Hell yeah, after that. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. She this close. We were this close. Isn't it obvious? She wanted to shut Falcone up for good. I mean, this whole damn force is riddled with corruption. Someone must have got to her, Jim. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. You're being played, Someone bro. Someone planned this for a reason. But even if that's true, the simple fact is she gunned him down in his hospital bed. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, oh shit. Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Oh shit, girl. You can put some deep Tell shit now. She says anything. I have to know why she did this. 
Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. You see those veins pop out of her body? I bet you she was under that chemical. Yep, see it? Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. What else we got? Let's check her neck. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Damn, this is getting deeper Alfred, and deeper. I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Sounds good. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Yeah, I think she Listen, was drugged. You have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I need was that I had to stop that. Mm. I had to. Did no you matter see what. Anyone? Did, did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. Oh my goodness. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. What? The voice. It was saying something about revolution. Revolution? Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, she was drugged. Hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Someone got to her. Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcone. <sighs> hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. If you're not listening. You... No, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Oh, my girl. What are you doing here? Chilling, hanging out. My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories... About some kind of lockdown? I gotta go, girl. I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? Uh, it must have been back there. Always digging, happened. huh? Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. You gotta go, girl. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Sorry, girl. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. <sighs> Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Hey, we'll see. Time will tell, girl. Woo Rolling style. Come on. 
Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. I think Alfred's the, the one that we got have us to dead find killed. Out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Right. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. <laughs> he got off Falcone easy. got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. Nothing much. He said they were family. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. See the way his eyes opened Your up? father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Hmm. Let's look at the sample. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. I see. So what else we got to look at? This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Oh, so it's not controlling you. Or at least all your Both compounds seem stable, but they're more quick out. to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. Chaos. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Hmm. The drones are ready. over here find her find her now and a strong message okay so we got half a story nope Of course, it's gonna be all the way over here. There it is. Bring me her head. Bring me her head. They're after her now. Let's complete the story. Bingo. And there you go. It sounds like that guy we went to high school with. His voice? Oh, see? I knew it! I knew it! The Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Oh, yeah. Showtime. Come on, come on. I know there's gonna be more around here. The man probably had millions 
and it's so dry. If, if Phil Cody finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. Even boss won't be doing much of anything. Look at that green guy. Ooh, we're closing in, everybody. Alrighty, but ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna take our break. This shit is getting dope. I love the way it's starting off. It's starting off pretty epic, pretty action packed. So let me know what you guys think about the episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Cool, thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time, dear gamer, signing out.